Come as you are, that's how I want you. Come as you are, feel quite at home. Close to my heart, loud and forgiven. Come as you are, why stand alone? Fear, love sets no limits. No need to fear, love never fails. Don't run away, shamed and disheartened. Rest in my love, trust me again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, today we thank God for St. John Eudes, a priest, the spiritual father, as they call of Good Shepherd Sisters who are working in our own country for the children, young girls in difficulties and families of many sorts. As uh, John in many ways proclaimed God's unfathomable love in words, deeds, and actions. Let us uh, not only thank God, but uh, imitate His ways. The Word of God is inviting us to be generous because God has blessed us with many blessings. But never to forget the giver, but to serve with the gifts. Acknowledging our human feelings, our selfish ways and moves, let us ask his forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to new way of living. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You lead us to the Father, the source of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully chose the priest St. John Eudes to proclaim, the unfathomable riches of Christ. Grant us, by his example and teaching, that growing in knowledge of you, we may live faithfully by the light of the gospel. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, Amen. A reading from the book of Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, behold, I am about to take the delight of your eyes away from you at a stroke. Yet you shall not moan or weep, nor shall your tears run down. Sigh, but not aloud. Make no mourning for the dead. Bind your turban and put on your shoes on your feet. Do not cover your lips, nor eat the bread of mourners. So I spoke to the people in the morning, and at evening my wife died. And on the next morning I did as I was commanded. 
And the people said to me, Will you not tell us what these things mean for us, that you are acting thus? Then I said to them, The word of the Lord came to me. Say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will profane my sanctuary, the pride of your power, the delight of your eyes, and the desire of your soul, and your sons and your daughters, whom you left, shall fall by the sword. And you shall do as I have done. You shall not cover your lips, nor eat the bread of mourners. Your turbans shall be on your heads, and your shoes at your feet. You shall not mourn or weep, but you shall pine away in your iniquities and groan to one another. Thus shall Ezekiel be to you a sign. According to all that he has done, you shall do. When this comes, then you will know that I am the Lord. The word of God. Praise be to God. Your response, you forget the God who fathered you. You forget the God who fathered you. You forget the rock who begot you, unmindful now of the God who fathered you. The Lord has seen this and in his anger cast off his sons and his daughters. You forget the God who fathered you. I shall hide my face from them, he says, and see what becomes of them, for they are a deceitful brood. Children with no loyalty in them. You forget the God who fathered you. They have roused me with jealousy with what is not God. They have angered me with their beings of nothing. Then I will rouse them with jealousy with what is no people. I will anger them with an empty-handed nation. You forget the God who fathered you. Acclamation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your servant hears. You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One man came up to Jesus saying, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? And he said to them, Why do you ask me about what is good? One there is who is good. If you would enter life, keep the commandments. He said to him, Which? And Jesus said, You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. 
you shall not bear false witness honor your father and mother and you shall love your neighbor as yourself the young man said to him all these i have observed what do i still lack jesus said to him if you would be perfect go sell what you possess and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come follow me then the young man heard this he went away sorrowful for he had great possessions the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear friends in christ jesus today in the first reading the old practice of mourning weeping wailing for the loss of someone one loved as the tradition taught them how to remove their head covers as a sign of mourning the reading taken from the book of ezekiel told us that there is joy in the hearts of those who follow god's way in the gospel answering those who thought possession and riches are the way to be joyful happy content fulfilled Matthew places before us the encounter this particular rich man who came to Jesus with many questions this self righteous rich man who has observed the commandments as he said in public to the full still lacked something he was still desiring though he owned possessions to be content in his heart and that is why he was trying to speak out the many questions he had in his heart asking jesus how jesus was so happy without possessing anything and when jesus said the true joy comes from thanking god the giver of life who gave not only life and all that god has blessed us with possession wealth could control us as in this case we so even to lose the very peace and joy that we are seeking for therefore matthew is hinting at the true joy comes from with a grateful heart sharing the gifts of god employing such gifts of god for the service of god and the helpless poor 
if we do not do that the possessions will become possessing us we become serving possessions and wealth forgetting the very giver of life and many blessings so we need to be grateful to god not merely in words but in action thanksgiving must become thanks living as jesus lived and taught us with these gifts as we place them on the altar let us bring before the lord the intentions of our hearts and minds blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth the work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever blessed are you lord god of all creation For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine the work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink blessed be god forever Pray dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church receive o lord we pray the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed john eudes so that as you brought him glory you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord your word through whom you made all things whom you sent as our savior and redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and born of the virgin mary fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and saints we declare your glory as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy the for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. The partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis R. Pope, Malcolm Cardinal Ranjita, Archbishop, the Auxiliary Bishops, and all the clergy. Remember, so our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph's spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Joseph, us, with all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. No. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. This is way the blessed hope of the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you such your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
and with your spirit let's offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, have mercy God. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him. Who takes away the sin of the world? Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, you are present and alive in the Most Holy Sacrament. At this moment, I am unable to receive you sacramentally. I desire you to come spiritually into my soul. O oh, my Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Amen. As the deer panted for the water, so my soul longed after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit deal. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray. Lead us always in your love. Through the example of Blessed John Eudes. And bring to the fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to glorify the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for loving me.
we sincerely thank all those sponsored and their families who sponsored this uh, mass and pray that God will bless them abundantly and to those who participated from their homes may God bless you all God bless you father You went to Calvary There you died for me Thank you Lord For loving me Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Lord loving me you rose up from the dead to me new life you gave thank you Lord for loving me thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Lord, for loving.